how to add a memory again and then we'll uh, end the video so in VFO mode let's choose uh, let's go to VFO and type in the frequency you want I'll just use the mic one oh let's come out of that a minute okay I was on their main band which was in memory mode so VFO mode then we'll go one four five six hundred that's our receive frequency I and mean, there are shortcuts on the microphone but we'll just use the menu so we'll go menu and tone straight away and we're going to press menu again actually no no we're not we're gonna change the turn there you go so we've got arrows here on the front press the back like so press the third one along and then turn the tone on just going to do tone for now enter then we're looking for offset we'll go enter again the mw button is enter that's fine but you can change that to 0 600 so we've got plus and minus and we've got the tone so if we back out we need to just do the minus shift keep turning until we see the shift offset no let's just check no that's the one we did just looking for shift now let me find that I reckon it's actually here on the front so let's back out just press menu twice and then hold down the mom and it gives us the off and then we turn that to minus so now if we transmit now um, We've got everything in there look so let's put it to a memory now we've got hundreds in there now so hold down mw it puts it in there then you're looking for a space it looks like you put it in there number five so we go back to memory mode pressing the mr you can overwrite a channel you can turn to a blank channel so there that's the one we've just put in if we want to now name it so to get in naming mode you press briefly press don't hold the mw and then you're in you want to go in again what says edit you want to press again and now you want to decide what you want to do so we want to name it don't we so when you finish you just go to right but we'll go to name then we're going to go enter there's a mw and we can start changing adding the name now so g oh sorry i should have pushed the right and left G right with the arrow, the arrows are on the screen. B and then to the right. Three, turning backwards, hoping for numbers now. There it is there. Three. And it's uh, actually WR that one. W to the right. L M N O P Q R. Okay, and then. And that's it and then enter and then turn again the far left knob or the right and then to the word right and go enter over right and we're going to go yes so we've got to turn that to a yes and go enter and that's it it's done it so not seeing the name displayed but we definitely added the name so maybe we have to tell it to display the name so in the settings here i'm seeing memory name i'm going to try turn that on then we'll end the video we can always come back but first of all i'll read the radio because we changed that on the actual radio didn't we so uh, clone read gonna go no i just read that again it's reading fine do it we're not on rt systems now we're on icom red and then we're just going to go back to the settings com 11 click ok come on oh it's a, <laughs> that's the com setting sorry uh let's have a look Ch -ch -ch -ch. common settings and then go down here till we see memory name again there it is there on 
I couldn't see it in the when I was going through all the settings, but I'm sure it's there somewhere. So we're going to go right to radio. And then that's enough for this video, I think. I think we've done plenty uh, more to learn. It's not that it's a complicated radio, it's just that I've only just got it. And, you know, when you just get something, click OK. Clone end is showing. Let's turn it on and off. Put it back into memory. And there you are, we've got all the names showing. And you can bet that in scanning, you press it once, it says all, and then look, now it's scanning. Looking good. Dual receive, cross band, air band, marine band. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.